lesson I spoke about doubles so if you haven't checked that out already please do it's very important for children to know their doubles first and then we go into the halves okay so like I said this video is perfect for children who are in year one because typically children in year one are going to learn how to do this or for children in year two who just need a little bit of a recap as well okay so I'm just going to zoom you in and we're going to start now it's very important for us to know what halves actually means and i'm going to find a simple way in which children can understand okay so what halving mean means is when you divide a number into two equal parts so divide a number into two equal parts okay now, what do I mean by this? Again, it's always good to give examples. So I'm going to give you one, right? Let's say that we have, let's start off with something easy. Example. So let's say we have the number two. Okay. Now, one way in which I encourage children to learn about their halves is to draw two circles. One and two. Now, remember, we have to split this in the middle and we have to make sure that we have equal parts so we know that over here we have one part and over here we have the other part so we know that the half of two is one okay so i hope you're with me so far all right i'm just going to give you another example just so that i know you understand how to do this okay Right, let's go into another example. So let's say we have 4 and we want to half this number. Again, what I'll do is I will do 4 dots. 1, 2, 3 and 4. Now, again, we want to split it right in the middle. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go right down in the middle over here like this. And we're going to count. And first of all, the most important thing actually is we're going to see how many dots are on this side, how many dots are on this side. So we know that these, this side has two dots, this side has two dots. And that is what I mean by equal. See, the numbers are the same. So we know that half of four is two. Okay? Now... I actually want to show you another way that you can do this. If you don't want to put the line down the middle, what you can do is you can do it like this. A few moments later. So again, let's go to our example. Let's have the number four. Okay, so you are going to do four dots. Three and four. And what you're going to do is you're going to count in your twos. And once you count it in your twos, you're going to put a circle around it. So we know this is one, two, put a circle around it. One, two, put a circle around it. And what you can do is you can count in your twos. So you can go one, two, one, two. So we know that there are two parts. And we also know that half of four is two. Okay, now what I would suggest for this particular method, you can absolutely do this. But at the same time, you have to find out what works for you. Okay, so you can do it any way. You can use circles, you can use stars, you can use anything that you want to. As long as you are learning, that's the most important thing. Okay, so I'm just using circles because it's easier for me. Now, let's just go into another example. One final example, because I like to give examples so children can learn, okay? And this time we are going to spice things up a little bit and we are going to use the number eight. And we are going to use stars. So I'm going to do eight stars. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
eight stars okay again we're going to count in twos and we're going to put a circle around it so two four six and i have to squeeze this one eight okay now we have our stars in groups of two we are going to count how many circles we have so one two three four and that's your answer half of eight is four there you go okay so i really hope that you've enjoyed this lesson please make sure to check out the doubles as well if you have any questions you can get in contact with me through my website zaha morali tutoring or my email address zmorali110 at gmail.com thank you